Today, ladies and gentlemen, it is happening. Nido King. <laughs> Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pokemon Go series here on the channel. Of course, like always, if you guys are enjoying the videos, let me know with a like rating down below. And don't forget, we've got that competition for the limited edition t-shirts. Link in the description if you guys want to be a part of that. So in today's episode, we're going to be having a look at a couple of these evolutions that we've got lined up. Uh, namely, as you guys have seen in the intro, Nido Reno to Nido King. Uh, we've got a couple other over here that we're going to try out as well. Uh, I think we're going to try and get our own Poliwrath, maybe? Yeah, I'm not too sure. We already have three of them, and we have enough candies to go ahead and get another one. Uh, but if I trade in a couple Poliwags, I can get the Poliwag from 400. I'll use this tool, which I'm going to show you guys in a bit. Now, if you guys watched my boy Ali, yeah, you would have seen he's shown off this really cool evolution calculator, and I thought it was really awesome. I wanted to spread the good word about it. So we're going to be using it today to see if it's worth to evolve our Poliwag up and uh, see if we can get him a high-level Poliwell, and then go from them into a Polyra. So like I said, I'm going to leave the link down to this in the description as well. But let's start things off and have a a look at what we're going to get here because that's the cool thing about it it calculates what you're probably going to get when you go ahead and evolve it and i guess we'll test out the accuracy of it today as well okay so there we go selected our boy polywag and then uh what is his cp his cp is 393 he's actually yeah he's very low up on the totem pole i think i want to catch a high level polywag and evolve him into a better polywall i think it's not going to be too great so let's estimate he's probably going to evolve at a 676 polywall I mean, just judging by the arc, I think we can do better. Sorry, Poliwag, you're not in the top percent here. I think I can do better, man. Feels bad. And then we can work off of that to see what estimate one we're going to get for the Poliwrath. And it is still higher than the current Poliwrath that we've got. It says here if we evolve it from that one, we'll go up to a 1200, but we've already gotten 1100 Poliwrath, so it's like an extra 100 levels. I don't really see the point in that. We'll wait a bit until we can get a better Poliwag. There's a mo I reckon I can get like a four or 500 Poliwag. And that'll probably get us a lot... Yeah, a lot better pretty much. So last episode, we evolved our Bellsprout into a Weeping Bell. A very high level Bellsprout. And uh, we've got a Weeping Bell here that is sitting just over a thousand. It's actually 1,011. Let's estimate and see what we're going to get here. Only 1,500. Really? I thought way better than that. We're only going to net a 1,500 Victory Bell. I would have thought we would have get... Damn, that's, uh, it's interesting. So another thing while I'm here that I definitely want to check is uh, my Ponyta. If you guys know, when I hatched the Ponyta, I think I was in Queen Street Mall in Brisbane, and I'd hatched out of nowhere. It was my first Ponyta, and he cracked so high, 849. And if you guys know, once you pass level 20, you get the base amount from eggs. You can't get any higher than that. So that's actually really good to know that if you're cracking a 10k egg over level 20, you're going to get the same as someone at level 40, which is really awesome. That's why I like the, uh, the whole egg thing, which we still got a 10k brewing in here. We've had for a while. But we haven't had much adventures to go on, and uh, I could go on a late night adventure. It's currently literally midnight. I should have, you know, planned better, but I didn't. Now, let's see what we'll get out of this. 849, only 1,274? Are you kidding me? Now, base, this is the average CP you'll get, and it can go as high as 1,900, but I think that assumes that you'll be closer to level 30. So average it's speaking average maybe that you're probably around 20 so we probably get something close to like 1400 still a little disappointing all right well, let's check our boy nidorino over here uh he of course is the big part of what we want to do today i think i'm going to do him regardless just because i have evolved like i did that high level one yesterday and we still we got, like, I can't believe we got the same level nidorino from that that's crazy all right to estimate we're going to get uh, somewhere between... That's really low, I would have thought. I thought we would have gone much higher than that. Where is he on the scale? He's near the end. Uh, I mean, if you have a look at my party right now, it's not exactly bad by any means. It looks nice and diverse. We've got different types, different colors even. No yellows, though. I, I'm not sure. I just feel like it could use a Nido King right now. And there's, there's two types of people that play Pokemon Go. There's the Grinders, and there's the Explorers, and the Gotta Catch Em Allers. I think I fall under... The gotta catch them all is, you know, I like to get every single Pokemon and if I wasn't doing this and I was kind of reasonable I would probably be that guy to try and catch all the first 142 Pokemon I think there's 146 you can catch right now. I don't know with all the region exclusives I would literally travel across the world and I'm still thinking about it to go ahead and catch Farfetch'd, Mr. Mime and Tauros 
would it set me back thousands of dollars? Yes, that's why I haven't done it yet. But I, I don't know. I just love catching them all and filling my Pokedex. That's how I play. Um, but of course, there's grinders and people who like the combat aspect of it. I'm not too much into that. But, you know, I like to have a good team behind me. And uh, I don't know. I would like the XP um, of getting the, you know, the new Pokemon. But I, I, I'm not going to explain myself any longer. I'm going to go ahead and do it because I know you guys are excited for this. Nidorina. I caught so many Nidorans in the forest for that Safari episode. And uh, I'm just excited to finally evolve this guy. Uh, I want to see what his model looks like. He must look epic as hell. There we go. And there he is. Mr. Nido King. Boy, he ready to roll. Let's see what we got here. It says average 1,367. Let's see how accurate this thing is. Um, so it should be in between that. It can't go much higher. What? It says its maximum CP is... 1397, but I got 1419. It's calculators for rough estimates. It's not exact. I mean, I'll take it that they did put they did put a disclaimer there, but that's sick. I can't complain. A high level one that I thought I was gonna get. 1400 Nido King. Oh, that is so cool. Man, I love Pokemon. And you can see here he's not messing around too bad because he needs three candies to power up. So he is definitely on the higher end of the spectrum for sure. Man, I really wish there was a section that you could go ahead and uh, assign to see like a candy section or something. So you could see like what has the most candy so that you can readily evolve them. Oh, look at that, guys. Looks like we can start building up our next Nido King right here, right now. I love it. That was just the incense. I honestly wish my sleep schedule wasn't so broken right now. Otherwise, I would be waking up at a decent time and be able to go out and go to the park, catch some cool Pokemon, but unfortunately that's not the case. So I'm gonna go ahead, do a little bit of driving. I think I might go hit up some Kangaskons and try to get some higher level ones. Because I do have a lot of, you know, international viewers, and I don't know if you've seen the episode where I caught my original Kangaskon, and uh, I don't know, you might enjoy seeing it, because uh, you won't see it, unless you live in Australia. I don't know, I haven't really got anything planned. I'll be checking PokeVision and whatnot. Uh, obviously when I'm stopped, I won't be playing and driving at the same time, because I'm on my own. But uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Might look for some people. So I have an idea of what I can do because it is very late at night. And I can't really do much pokey hunting myself. You know, three-step glitch combined. Um, and I don't really like using pokey vision. Like I know there's a lot of people in the comments that are saying don't use pokey vision, and I agree. But I'm gonna keep using it still for the next couple of episodes until three-step is fixed, guys. You cannot hunt Pokemon down without it. Uh, after that, though, I think I'll stop using it most certainly. But either way, I think we might as well use this time to go ahead and uh, take down some gyms. Everyone's gonna wake up tomorrow and go, wow, how did all of the Valor gyms, because they're literally all Valor, like I have a Valor ridden area right now, and every gym seems to be run by them, let's see, this may take a while, what do we got here, uh, it's only level 2 gym, oh, there's only one guy in it, this is going to be easy, I think, oh, actually, I'll use Nino King, hopefully got a ground attack, no surprise, there was no lures out, I thought it might have been just a little too late, alright, so we're going to do our strategy, it's been a while since I've done any battles, so you go straight for a double dodge, and uh, then you go straight for attacking, but I'm not sure. Let's, I don't know, it's just the Nidoking for the first time. Hopefully there's an earthquake attack. Yeah, boy, that's good. Oh, that did so much damage, guys. Holy crap. Alrighty, and it's a nice fast attack, too. Look how quickly he, like, loads up his butt. Wow. All right, Nido King is uh, is definitely decimating this gym right here. This Jolteon, you need to get taken right down, buddy. And there we go. Not a bad gym to take down. Oh, wait, I think we have to do it again for some reason. Alright, so I'm going to send out the best Carbotops up on this one. Let's see how he goes. Alright, oh, I forgot he's super effective against it. Come on, have like an Earthquake. Ancient Power, there we go. Just spam the Ancient Powers. Let's go. Ancient Power. Ancient Power. Oh, it's not fast at all. The DPS on this Ancient Power is not going very far. I mean, we'll win the fight, but screw it. I might as well just do these attacks. They're so quick. It's just like Nido King. Alright, and let's try the Ancient Power. Wow, I think he actually might lose this. Wow, we lost. We lost by... No worries. Snorlax here to finish the job. Well, unless we got the glitch. No, we're good. And there we go. A fresh gym. And I'm going to put my boy... I'm going to put my boy Face Palm up there. There we go. We're going to leave him in the gym. And would you look at that? A gym for Team Instinct. Boy, you do not see those too often. I'll tell you that much. Especially around these parts. I'm going to be the gym thief. Everyone's going to wake up tomorrow and be like, How did all these gyms get taken? And they're going to take them right back because no one's going to back me up on these chips. So I just got back and uh, luckily enough for me, there's an egg about to hatch. So let's see what we get. I think we got lucky eggs on this. So we'll get no matter what, a thousand, I think, for level five. Because it's, no, it's level two and it's a magic cup. You know what? That's not too bad. I need the candies. But six ain't going to get me anywhere, anywhere fast. Not at all. 
Alrighty, good morning everybody. We'll bring it back the next day. And uh, unfortunately last night there wasn't really much to do. It was really late at night and there weren't much Pokemon out. So I waited until the next morning and here we are. And look at this, look at this on screen, a triple Pokestop. And I'm going to lure all three of these bad boys up. There's no one here in the park right now. It's pretty early, it's like 10 a.m. or 10, or nearly 11. But uh, we're going to see, I'm going to drop three lures and see if anyone rocks up. And uh, do a little bit of grinding here. Hopefully get level 23. So this is going to be exciting. And hopefully we'll find some type of rare Pokemon. Alrighty, new egg alert. Let's see what we get. This is a 5k, please. Oh, there's a lot of Pokemon under the lures as well. We want 5k. Uh, Porygon, Regi exclude a Bell's... Actually, that's pretty good. We can get the victory bell now today. So that's gonna be interesting. We can... Yes, we can do it today. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade our weeping bell just a little bit here and get him up to around, I don't know, whatever I'll max out the candy's on. And that's gonna be 1,058. And if I evolve this guy, we should get at least 1,600, 1,700 victory bell. New Pokemon, and of course, a very high level one as well. Let's see how this goes. Come on, I'm actually excited for this one. We are slashing these up. I think I only have like 30 Pokemon left to actually catch. This is gonna be interesting. Here we go. And Mr. Victory Bell, what do we got? He looks sick. What level? Come on, boy. Be nice to me. Oh, look at that Alakazam. I need that boy. All right, 1566. So, not exactly 1600, but uh, he's on the end of the bell curve there, so I'll take it. Victory Bell, brand new Pokemon. All right, so we're just browsing PokeVision while we're here, and uh, a lot of people were saying like ghost Pokemon don't spawn at cemeteries. But have a look at that. That is apparently a cemetery, and there's two Ghastlies and one in the stadium as well, which isn't, but I don't know, fam. Might just be a coincidence. There's definitely ghost Pokemon in the cemetery. Alrighty, guys, well, the lures are up. Uh, the triple lure spot, a bunch of people came down. It was actually pretty good. And uh, a lot of the same Pokemon, though, just a lot of repeats, got a lot of evolutions. Currently sitting at around 24,000 XP till our next level. And uh, if we have a look at our Pokedex, we have caught and seen 110 different Pokemon. That means there's only like, I think, 36 more Pokemon that we can catch. I think 30 three of them that we can actually catch in this country. So uh, it's gonna be an interesting couple of months. And uh, yeah, I think what we're gonna be doing for tomorrow's episode is probably heading out to uh, a couple of the nests around the city, uh, the Kangaskhan one, the Pikachu one, and see how we go. But of course, guys, if you guys did enjoy today's episode of Pokemon Go, let me know the like button down below, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Later, guys.